Today's population about seven billion sixty six million nine hundred sixty four thousand nine hundred sixty four. World population in two thousand fifty about nine billion three hundred nine million fifty one thousand five hundred thirty nine. The increase will be about two billion two hundred forty two million eighty six thousand five hundred seventy five. How do humans affect the ecosystem? One way is land use. When the human population is growing, uh, they will take most of the space, then animals won't have house, I mean, habitat. <laughs> habitat loss. Ever since the human population appeared, it has been growing. And when it grows, it means it needs more space, such, a, such as houses or buildings. But when, but when we run out of space, we have to make space. So people are destroying habitats to create space for houses and buildings. But when they do so, animals will lose their homes and they have to move away. Eventually, a whole ecosystem will be gone. And then animals will have to adapt to a, a different, to a different biome. Here's a video to show how much the how much the population will change from 1 AD to 1 to 20 30 AD. An environment is a system of living things. The earth is our environment. of our environment to provide space, to produce food, and to supply energy are all limited. Humans thrive on less than 17% of the Earth's surface. Only about 4% will grow crops. We depend on these limited resources for our survival, and yet we're increasing our population as if they were infinite. This fact is at the core of our environmental problems. On this map, we'll show population growth from the year 1 AD to present and then project our growth into the year 2030. Population concentrations will be indicated by dots, each of which will represent one million people. In areas where people are spread out and don't live in concentrations of one million, dots are placed in the middle of their approximate range. As some areas become superpopulated, dots will spread outward in order to show the total population within the map. Historical references will be provided by images and text on the lower right. If present growth rates continue, our population will double in about 50 years. Yet the Earth's size remains the same. Slowing human population growth and lowering our consumption of natural resources is key to reducing the impact we have on our planet. Through our personal decisions about our numbers and our lifestyles, each of us can help to preserve the health and beauty of our home. Resources are resources we get from the earth. For example, wood, oil, soil, water, and air. These resources are divided into two main categories, renewable and non-renewable. Renewable resources include, inc includes many natural resources that can replenish itself. 
Non-renewable resources include natural resources that are in limited supplies. Fossil fuels and minerals are non-renewable resources because it can be found on the earth anytime. If a resource is renewable, doesn't mean that it will never runs out. For example, a forest can be chopped down faster than it can regrow. China's green city. In China, people are building a city that would fit about 80,000 people in there. The size of the city will be about 800 acres and 15% per will be used for parks, 60% will be used for the buildings, and 25% for the roads. The whole city will be built on farmland. This city will use about 48% less energy and 58% less energy than a normal city would use. The city will be finished in 8 years. You can help. To help the earth, you can start by reducing water and reducing electricity. Think about using natural sustainable energy like hydropower and solar power. Here are some other examples. Eat meatless every Monday, use bicycles whenever possible, conserve water, recycle paper and other recyclables, reduce water pollution by stop throwing trash or liquid into rivers, plant more trees or other plant species. And here are some links and videos. And we hope you enjoy our presentation. The end.